time he's two and seven in the Metrodome. Been far from the first place Green Bay Packers beat Dante Culpepper, Kabir, Baja, Biamila, and they're trying to stymie the Vikes. Come on, Green, stop this. The, as the Packers go fourth and two at the eight very early. Turnover on downs. Scoreless game second, Culpepper. Chris Carter, all he does, catch touchdown. Three yards, a Metrodome leap. That's a pretty good leap. Seven nothing bites. No matter about it, Culpepper sight. Far back to pass. Kylie Wong picks it off. He can go all the way. 27 yards, 14 nothing Vikings. Here we go again in this building for the pack. And look at Wong's spot shadow. Just watch where he keeps his head. He's just watching Brett Favre's eyes, allows his eyes to follow him, moves toward the football. Great job of stepping in front, getting the ball, get to the nearest sideline, and get to the end zone. Did me, whoa, there's the nail. Darren Sharper nails Randy Moss, but he holds on. Helps set up a field goal, though, 17 to nothing. Under two minutes to go, shotgun. And here go the Packers in the Metrodome. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, look, does this sum up <laughs> 10 starts for Brett Favre in the Metrodome or what? I mean, this is just, and look at this play, they're bouncing around and just, oh, man. It, it, it's just, it's a house of horrors for Favre and the Packers. 22 seconds left in the half. Cole Pepper. Into the secondary, Tommy. Nobody wants to what? Yeah, and you, nobody wants to get their head out in front and hit him. But look how fast he looks at 260 plus pounds. You can't catch him, or at least you don't want to catch him. Sets up a field goal, 20 to nothing at the half, and then here's Amon Green. Maybe the Packers get in the game here. First drive, third quarter, inside the 10. Green, third and goal at the two. They were down there for a long time. A couple of penalties. Five to Bubba Franks. They down 20 to nothing. You know what? Take it easy there. 20 to 7. <laughs> Cole to Byron Chamberlain. Fights, fights, fights for extra yards. First down, Minnesota. Later in the drive, Cole Pepper. Randy Moss. Sharper again. Nails it. Boy, they were laying it. Moss okay. Same drive now, fourth quarter. Cole Pepper. Right up the middle. Get out of my way. Oh, my goodness. And the Vikings go on to slice and Dice, the first place Green Bay Packers, the Vikings, after Denny Green is the new Wayne Fox. I'm telling you, he's the new Rasputin. The, you know, the, the tragedy in the summer, 4-0 in the preseason. 0-2 start, beat Tampa Bay. 2-3, here comes Green Bay, now salvage the season. And when Minnesota or anybody holds the ball for 38 minutes, as they did today, Tom, I like their chance. Yeah, and it means that they ran the ball pretty well. We talk about Dante Culpepper and Randy Moss and Chris Carter and what they're able to do. But I think the key is that the Vikings have gotten back to running that football today with Chapman for 90-plus. But 196 yards total running the football, that will make this team good. Minnesota-Tampa Bay kind of a, a, a game to stay alive next weekend with Green Bay losing the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears. It's a scrum. They're in first place <laughs> <laughs> the Norris Division at 4 and 1. When we return, game ball. You got a lot of candidates, if you will. Is brought to you by 1 800 Collect. Save a buck or two. My game ball boom goes to David Patton. Ran for a touchdown, threw a touchdown, caught a touchdown. Only the sixth guy to do it since 1960. Wow. And he did it very quickly, too, Tom. Hey, my game ball goes to the Cleveland Browns defense. They bring attitude. They had seven sacks. They forced three turnovers against their arch rival, the Baltimore Ravens, the one-time Cleveland Browns, the party in Cleveland. Who was your primetime player? Now, this was a tough vote. And the candidate is Trunk. Boy, what a great game he had. Over 200 yards combined running and receiving for the Rams. We had lots of candidates for the Steeler defense, uh, et cetera. So Chicago and Pittsburgh first place in the Centrals at 4 and 1 and 4 and 1. The team playing the best football in the AFC East, New England, San Diego has moved past Denver. Defending world champions can't now, the beat Cleveland, game is can't beat week. Cincinnati. San Francisco and Chicago. I know. It's going to be a yeah, good we one. We got a Thursday night game. There's a game on Thursday. We have it. Indianapolis and Kansas City. For Tom Jackson, I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for watching.